bottom on the metal hooks. How are you? Yeah, how's it going, guys? <laughs> yeah, I can definitely hear you now. We had a bit of sound difficulties because, as you can imagine, people trying to get four people into one screen is going to be very hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because uh, Adam, he holds up the camera, so you are all just there. But I don't think, Adam, I don't think we could get you to hold the camera up the whole hour here, could I? <laughs> exactly. A little hard, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Our setup okay, is okay right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, um, I came across you guys because I think it was obviously the most uh, viewed sort of video that you've done was with uh, the Jack Black do it and uh, someone that shared it. I think I don't know if it was like World Star or Lad Bible or one of those big um, Instagram pages. And when I seen that, I was just like, holy fuck, these guys are amazing. And then. All my friends were like saying, oh my God, have you seen this video and all? I was like, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. And then they were like, oh, you should get them on. I was just like, okay, let's just fucking go for a shot and see what happens. Because I'm sure you've probably got your DMs flooded right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're happy to be here too. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm so, I'm so ha I'm happy that you're here because I do have a lot of good questions to ask you. So um, I suppose I'll start with the first one. Um. Do you just want to like individually introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Adam. I'm the singer. I'm Johnny. I'm the lead guitarist. I'm Ryan. I'm the bassist. And I'm Alex. I'm the drummer. Unreal. How many times have you been asked that? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, that's like yeah. one, two, three. I, I can't count. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I was like, how do I like? How did I start off this podcast without sounding like a complete dork? And then I just had to ask the question. So, <laughs> um, well, that's it. Yeah, I suppose. But it's good that on your Instagram page as well, you use uh, you have all your tags in the bio as well, so people can actually see who's who. And <laughs> um, yeah, it's it, it's good. I mean, so like, uh, how did you guys form? Like, where when did it like start? How did it all happen? I guess I'll take that one. So John and I have actually been playing together for about seven years now. It was actually just about seven years, a couple of weeks ago. We met at a school talent show. Then a couple of years later, John and I met Alex at a music store. They both took lessons at. The three of us were playing together for a couple of years. And then about 2019 or so, our management at the time, um, they were working on a solo project with Adam. They needed a band. And they said, hey, you know, these kids are young. These metal locks or whatever, they could be great. And it ended up being this totally different thing and yeah that's how we are that's how it all yeah started. exactly now we're a band adam and the metal hawks <laughs> mush together yeah. <laughs> now that that's so sick because i was kind of thinking i was like because i seen um adam you were on obviously uh american idol and then what was it was it like was it your manager who had got in contact with these guys to say listen you should go in with them as a band is that how it sort of worked yeah. Uh, we were working in the studio uh, and we needed a band to like play live shows. Uh, and uh, one of the guys we were working with, his name is Rich, uh, said, Hey, I know these guys. They're called the Metal Hawks and they're super young, super talented. Uh, and maybe they could be like the backing band, you know? So it wasn't going to be like a, a full band. It was like, these guys could play for the shows. But as soon as I met them and we like jammed for a bit, it was like, this is a band, you know, like everybody's got their personalities. They're all incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we're, we're not just using them for a couple of shows. Like this is the band right here. So we had yeah. to just smush the two groups together and here we are. Yeah. That's we're sick. That's so cool. I mean, it's like, uh, I remember whenever I was younger and like, I used to watch like, uh, certain movies, I think obviously the main ones like school of rock and, uh, but like even just like other sort of uh, like sort of startup band movies, like and you just kind of got the sense that like I always like wanted to be a part of that because it seems like such fun, and I'm sure you guys are having a blast at the moment. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. it's, it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot of work, but it's a blast always. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're always having fun. always always having fun doing it. And it's good, like Adam said, you all have your own personalities, but it's kind of I suppose kind of good in a way that a couple of you guys knew each other, obviously before you started as well that always adds um so, sort of makes it more confident doesn't it 
yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. definitely. We're all we're all brothers, you know, all best friends. It's all good. Unreal. And like who is the who's the oldest? Who's the youngest? So I'm the oldest, Johnny's the youngest. <laughs> we, we got a large range in between, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the grandpa. Yeah. He's the grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> At heart, he's like young 20, you know. So yeah, actually yeah. Than me. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes Johnny's more mature than I am. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It balances out. <laughs> So Adam's like the sugar daddy then, yeah. <laughs> I guess he's exactly. like that. I mean, I'm sugar, I guess. I <laughs> Brilliant. Give me two seconds. Can't believe it's fucking happened. My uh, charger. Oh, Johnny, look, it's a happy birthday sign for you. No. <laughs> oh. no <way. laughs> happy birthday, Johnny. So funny. <laughs> Like the sugar day now, huh? Yeah, sugar sugar daddy. Daddy. I wish I had more sugar, then this would be easier. But uh... sorry about that. There, um, total jackass move for me. You think after fifty episodes, I would be okay with uh, actually plugging in the power adapter? <laughs> happen, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, um, so that's cool. The way that you guys like sort of met up and stuff like that. And um, how did you like come up with? So like you said that use uh two were the metal hawks and then obviously there was adam is that and then you were just like right that's how, what the name's going to be i mean was there was there any other sort of names that came into mind it's not really it, it just kind of fell into place like the three of us were just metal hawks and then when adam came in the picture it was just having metal hawks yeah and you just wanted the amh and it's perfect yeah unreal and like, did you guys show actually like, you know that first show we played we, it was literally the metal hawks, so then we just threw Adam in front of it just for that show, but then it slowly came into the name. Yeah. So I think that's really weird. what happened. Adam and, yeah. You know, kind of tell the story. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Cause like, I always felt like with like bands, like whenever like they have like the, the person who's like the singer and then they have like the name of the band and behind it, it's always like kind of, like people can start making up like shit, like saying, "Oh, I bet you the I bet you the band hates the singer and stuff like that." There, do you, do you ever like get some of that? Yeah, that's, like, that's why. That's why. That's why we changed the name to A and M H, so it doesn't have to be that. Yeah. 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 No, that's a full sentence. Yeah. I know it sounds like you're gonna have to see a whole paragraph to put it on the bill, you know. But, yeah. it's all good. but, but no, I mean, for real, there's no like egos in between. Us, you know, we all have four different personalities, and we, oh, all, yeah. and we all mold together, and it's and it's never ever about one person. It's about the collective, all four of us, and it's about our fans too. Yeah, no, that's so true. Because I mean, like, obviously, whenever I first, what caught my eye was obviously Adam's voice, and then whenever I started like going through like all the different videos, I could start to see like I was like, oh, he's talented at drums, oh, he's talented at the guitar and stuff like that. There, and I was just like, oh, that so they've actually got like a proper fucking band here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know everybody uh, thinks I just sl uh, slap a box for a living, but you know, <laughs> actually over there, but yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it's all I have. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I could see that you've got the drums just in the corner there, just to make sure everyone knows you actually play the drums. Yeah, I can bring it make it in there. Go, bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, like, whenever you guys were, were doing like the. Uh, Whenever you guys were doing the gigs and stuff like that back in what 2019 would it have been? Um what was that experience yeah, like for you? Like, yeah. So like what was that experience like for you guys? Like was it like very like surreal that you used to like you said like merge together and then you saw like this other guy who was like singing now with you? Good question. Yeah, that's a new question. <laughs> it has a feel, Ryan. <laughs> it has a feel. So Ryan was the singer of the metal I was yes. before I came oh, in. Okay. Yeah. He's singing and playing bass. Yeah. Right. And also before Adam, I mean, like we had three songs in a movie with the Metal Hawks. But then like oh, wow. when Adam came in, it was like, wow, that three songs in the movie actually obviously it's <laughs> awesome, but like this is so much bigger than all of us. It was just like, it was just a yeah. crazy thing to wrap our minds around. You yeah. know, like, we didn't yeah. join TikTok until this year, 2021, yeah. January. Uh, and it was just kind of like, 
you know, because of all the uh, restrictions put on shows where we couldn't play shows, uh, you know, we had been on social media, we put YouTube videos, but everybody was like, you got to do TikTok. And, you know, eventually we were like, all right, we have to do TikTok. But yeah. we weren't going to take our original music and put it on and just hope that it worked. Yeah. Uh, because we knew that TikTok is all about, you know, trends and memes and everything like that. So yeah. uh, Johnny had the idea that he saw uh, of the bowls. We had like the bowls and water bottles at the Red oh, of the yeah. and, uh And that really took off. So we did that for a long time. And then the transition to the Jack Black duet. We got him to duet. That was awesome. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and now, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Just keep that's on. crazy i mean did you like because like everyone was saying to you go on to tiktok i mean was it kind of like you were going on tiktok because of like there was no like gigging because of like covid and stuff like that it's got kind of why you like got all your energy yeah. towards that yeah that yeah, was pretty much why we did i mean we were writing songs like like during the pandemic too but it, it also just got to that point where it was like all right well now what do we do and we just hopped on tiktok just for the hell of it Thank God. You know, yeah. It really I mean, paid off. Yeah. First week of TikTok, we reached 100K um, followers and subscribers. Um, and our Instagram just like went along with it. I mean, we hit like 50K. And we're like, wow, this is like more than any of us. Like, but we like expected to stop soon. Yeah. And now look, we're almost at like, well, like 750 or something. Just, yeah. just yeah. like 700. Like, like yeah. 730. Yeah. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's it's really taken off for you guys. And like, I mean, was it kind of? Do you think it was part? Like, obviously, like you were like, I appreciate rock music, so like, I know that like you guys are good. Do you think with like the likes of the following though, and like the actual reach, do you think that it was partly due to that Jack Black video as well? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, so you know, I I had always been a fan of Jack Black. Like you said, School of Rock was a huge one for me, and his band Tenacious D, uh, even like his video game Brutal Legend was super awesome. Uh, and ever since like Guitar Hero Rock Band uh, introduced me to just a huge swath of rock songs and classic music, uh, I, I had been a fan. And so through that Jack Black duet, it was not only, you know, a little bit of it was like, this would be awesome, uh, but the, the side effect was that all of these fans of Jack Black are now coming to us and they're like, we listen to your music and it rocks, you know? And so yeah. there is kind of a, a transition from, you know, we have our funny TikTok memes, but then we have our original music on YouTube and we're starting to gain subscribers there. And uh, we're excited to release a music video and new single uh, by the end of the summer. So that's gonna be awesome. And we're excited to see how people react to that because it's our first song back. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that's what I kind of only realized like today, if I'm being uh, totally honest with you, like I thought it was just the, uh, I thought it was just the TikTok videos that you were doing. And then whenever I was like, oh shit, wait, you are doing a festival. I was like, what the fuck? Wait there. They must oh, actually yeah. have that. Well, that's, a, that, that's a very common reaction. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I was just like, wait, how the fuck do you get like on the festival from doing TikTok videos? <laughs> um, but yeah, I fucking, I went on to your Spotify. See your Spotify whenever I went on and listened to the music. I was like, wow, these fucking guys are class. Like, so the album that you released with, um, what was it last, just last year you released it? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like right it, around. It, yeah. It's so good. Like it's, it's got like, it, it's just got like that, kind of like classic rock feel like it is really yeah it's kind of like a mixture of like do you remember like american like sort of punk like Amer like don't take this the wrong way this is just the way that i see it as i take it like yeah. as like american punks who are like bowling for soup and then you've like mixed it with like acdc or something yeah i can yeah, totally see that, that. Totally well, see it's that. it's yeah. funny that you say punk because uh alex is a huge kind of a punk kind yeah. of, uh drummer you know he has loves the, that influence yeah. i'm obviously influenced by acdc aerosmith uh you know we got van halen we got <laughs> iron maiden like you have on your shirt there i mean yeah. all these classic rock yeah. bands are huge influences of ours and instead of being like we want to do away with the old, you know, we're a new band, we're modern. It's like, no, let's 
we want to show our influences through our music and obviously through our TikToks, just by doing, bringing these songs back into the public eye, uh, it's, it's important to us that we have those influences there. And uh, yeah. every time somebody compares us to ACDC or any other band, it just makes us smile. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> and all That's our brilliant. songs are kind of collectively written. Like, you know, we have like that punk side of the song. We have like a very mm-hmm. like heavier part. So it kind of like, it's almost like a new genre. Like, uh, it's like kind of weird. I guess sure. it's, it's, mel- like, it's a melting yeah, pot. It's like a weird Rock thing. Yeah. I love yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this new single that we have coming out is absolutely amazing. I mean, I think it is at least. <laughs> I don't know, but. All right, we got that's, one. That's, yeah. that, 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 that's on the general public. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we haven't announced it yet. We're actually like probably one of the first people to know about it. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Very good then. Well, this is going to be like an exclusive for the shit talking banter yeah, podcast. Exactly. Well, that title exclusivity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm going to do. So for the YouTube thumbnail, I'm going to like make it really clickbaity and like just make sure that it's like exclusive AMH. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. AMH yeah. 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 exclusive. Yeah. Whatever. Well, hopefully, yeah. we will announce it within a week or yeah, within next week. Yeah. Yeah. But nice. yeah, it'll be cool. Yeah, unreal. And I mean, Johnny, you said that you used to do the vocals beforehand. So do you kind of hear Adam now? Yeah, no, that that, yeah. that was me who used to do the vocals. But yeah. I was I was a little unsure. Oh, Ryan, name. sorry, Ryan, sorry, my bad. Yeah, no, it's all good. He used to, he used to, Adam, Adam used to think my name was Alex for a little while. <laughs> really? <laughs> actually, actually, this yeah yeah there's 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 footage of our first show. That we did with Adam at that place called Shore House, whatever. I got another story about that, but that's a different, that's a different subject. But he, but we'll he was like, I'm gonna give Alex, some, I'm gonna give Alex a break over here. I remember yeah. that. I was, yeah, I was, pretty, I was playing playing the drums. I'm like, we'll break. I'm still playing right now. I'm like, we're playing right now. I heard that. I was like, what are you talking about? That was like, what the first day that I met you guys. Yeah, yeah. It was the first day. He was still learning the names. Yeah. He was learning the names. I got three guys. Way. You got one. He was learning the names. That's funny you mentioned it. I actually remember it. Like, it was like, yeah, I do remember that. That's something I would do, though, as well. Like, I would just, like, I forget people's names, like, straight away. Like, uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just, no, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Especially four of us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, But, Ryan, so what was the story you were going to say then? (laughs) So, like I was saying, like, obviously, when we were still Metalhawks, I was singing for about, five years from the time I met Johnny and then playing that I picked up bass when we couldn't find a bass player. I was doing like double duty for about three years or so. And then when Adam first came into the picture, I was a little unsure because I had a little bit of that singer's ego, you know, like, do I really want to go back to just, you know, being a stupid bass player? You know, nobody cares about them. <laughs> but, ever since, but, ever since, but ever since Adam just started singing, you know, I'm like, you know, fuck this. I don't want to sing anymore. This guy's, <laughs> this guy's got the pipes, man. Yeah. I mean, he's right. got killer backup vocals too. Oh, so, I mean, you yeah. have to hear the, this new song. We keep hyping it up, but it deserves the hype because yeah. there's backups. like a whole Ryan yeah. choir of background <laughs> vocals, like three oh, part perfect pitch like yeah. it's gonna be so unreal. he also has perfect pitch so that's a pretty cool thing about him too yeah, yeah. And he right, guys, i think we're, 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 we're trying to build up ryan here so we are and i think ryan's getting embarrassed <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> what were you going to say ryan i was gonna say like you know you can think i'm like embarrassed about it flat or whatever but i honestly love having that kind of ability so like when we're writing when we're like writing songs i love being able to Tell Alex, you know, hey, instead of this beat, why don't you do something like yeah. this? Or Johnny, how about this guitar riff with this yeah. harmony? You know what I mean? So yeah. I think it definitely helps, and it helps us be more of a collective when it comes to songwriting. Yeah, know? definitely. Just helps, Unreal. you know, build the band pretty much. Uh, and like, so like, who's kind of like your like, who would be your inspiration as like a band now? Now that you've sort of settled together, like, who's those like main bands that you would look to and sort of take? Um, I don't know, like the this new songs that you do now? That's a good question. An inspiration for our new songs. Or maybe not, not not your new songs, maybe just like your songs in general so that like you've oh, like okay. done in your album and stuff like that. I think it all stems from all of our influences, which are vastly so different. Like Alex is more into like punk and stuff like that. Yeah, Adam's more like, like a... Adam's like more Tenacious D, Aerosmith, Giants more Van Halen. I like Van Halen too, but also like Brush and Queens, yeah, right? Iron rough. Maiden, mm. you know, a little heavier. But it just, it just all kind of just molds together into this one thing. 
And like when people say like, oh my God, you you sound like all my favorite bands all up at once. Like that's our goal. Yeah. <laughs> I also love like uh, like heavier people like uh, Mike Portnoy. Uh, I don't know if you know him, but like um, like Travis Barker obviously is the punk side. You got like um, Taylor Hawkins, Foo Fighters. I'm sure you uh, know about those guys. I don't know, but I don't know if they're popular in the UK. I you know? love Tra- I love Travis. He's amazing. He's the best drummer in the world ever. Yeah, no, he's amazing. Yes. He's amazing. Yes. I also got the double bass in there. I know Travis doesn't really do double bass, but like it's kind of like Travis Barker meets some double bass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously Travis is a legend, so I mean, yeah. nowhere near that, but we're aspiring to be there, so it's all good. Unreal. Have you have you seen Blink One Eighty Two before? I have. Alive, they're unbelievable. Like it is such yeah. a party. Like it, it's a, like an amazing time. You really can like. I tried to record it, but the recording is just like, it does not capture like the actual feeling you get, you know, it's, uh, it's yeah. amazing. I, uh, I saw him actually in uh, New Jersey. I uh, drove out like an hour and now it was good. Unreal. So like, I, uh, I actually have a funny story about uh, going, I went to see them in uh, Ireland and uh, this is whenever they done their neighborhoods album. And, uh, my friend, me and my friend went, we were big, big 182 fans. And I think it was only like 17 or something like that. And I was just like, oh, I definitely need to have a bit of alcohol uh, in me for this here uh, concert. Cause it was like one of my first oh, concerts. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it was so good though. I mean, it was amazing, but my friend was drinking as well. And he obviously was a little bit drunk. And I think, uh, what's my age again came on and that's like one of his favorite songs. And he oh, yeah, only just had the new Samsung Galaxy phone and he held it up, right? And the next thing, this mosh pit was like on the other side, but it was starting to slowly come towards us. And he had his new phone up and I was just like, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. And of course the mosh pit came towards us and his phone just went straight into the mosh pit. And like, we were oh, on the floor no. looking for the ages floor. for the phone. It was such a stupid idea. And I was just like, man, why did you have your phone up? Like, when you could see the mosh pit coming, he's like, I love the song. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your phone. <laughs> it was all worth it, though. It was all worth it. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely all worth it. But I mean, like, if someone's picked up his phone, they probably got a really good angle of what's my age again. <laughs> yeah, right. That's amazing. That's, <clears throat> um, That's a great song, though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, I, I love them guys. They're um, probably one of my, Probably one of my favorite bands. I like them, and I like obviously Iron Maiden as well. Probably two of my favorite bands. Um, I sing uh, broad. Yeah, so it I, is. Yeah. Punk, <laughs> you got the hard rock, metal. Yeah, but I think do you know what stemmed from? It stemmed from watching like all those like um, American teenager movies back in like the nineties. Like I love American Pie and like uh, Road Trip and stuff like that. Like just all those movies were just like we just grew up with them. They were fucking amazing. Yeah, it's just feel good movies, and then the, the the soundtrack associated with it becomes something yeah. that you associate with that feeling, and that yeah, the energy exactly. that rock music gives off in general is just so contagious. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so like, have you guys like? I know you've done gigs um around uh, the US. Have you like went over to like the east side yet, or have you just stayed around the west of the country? Even most oh, sorry, east. sorry. The east side of the country, yeah. west. I don't know, man. Other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good, man. East coast, no, all good. No, but like even like before TikTok and everything else, we were playing gigs, or whatever. Mostly around like New York City area, Long Island, because that's where we're from. We're from New York. Yeah. Um, but right before COVID hit, actually, we had plans to go over to Europe and play some festivals, like over in Switzerland, which has been wow. Been since postponed to next year again. Yeah. And possibly like a West Coast tour. But then, of course, COVID happened and we couldn't do anything. And only until recently, we haven't really been able to do anything also. So, mm. but I mean, but if, if things can continue to stay open and people can reopen safely, then I think we're ready to take over the world with some gigs. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah, definitely. Like, you've, def- you've got the sound. Like, it's just, it's crazy that, like, I'm actually speaking with you because I know that you are going to be, like, really famous, like, in the next couple of years' time. Like, it's just going to take off. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're on it. Oh, yeah. uh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we got you guys. Yeah, this might be our first UK interview, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? I yeah. So, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. 
It's live. We're on it. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a thumbnail. More, yeah, more clickbait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> um, Danny, put him on the VIP list. <laughs> yes, guys. I honestly like. If you ever do come over to Europe, I'll definitely be coming to watch you because um, there's just no one, there's no one else out there with the sound. Like if you came across any other bands, like when you've been doing gigs like that um, have like your same sort of classic rock sound who are young and coming up. So we have a couple of, of I don't know if you want to call them rival bands, but there are <laughs> bands that uh, we respect and are pretty similar uh, genres. You know, we have uh, Greta Van Fleet who has just been on the come up for a couple of years now. And they put out a bunch of albums and uh, have done a bunch of tours. Uh, and they're kind of like uh, more of a Led Zeppelin feel. Uh, and they are Led Zeppelin. I mean, they're not exactly Led <laughs> Zeppelin. Oh, man. Uh, That's pretty cool. They're, they've been doing great. Also, Dirty Honey, they're from that West Coast. Oh, yes, I've uh, heard of them. Yeah, yeah. They, they have that classic rock sound also. They're oh, around right. closer to my age, I would say. But, uh, you know, I, I think there is that small resurgence of rock that is coming. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I think Greta Van Fleet kind of opened the door. And then now everybody else is kind of like, this could be a thing again. Yeah. Uh, and especially, I think, coming out of all the uh, lockdowns and restrictions and everybody just wants to have fun again and that that's what we're trying to do is just bring the fun you know uh, uh like everybody just needs that night out that concert uh it's just a party at pretty much and so we want to be that band that lets you have fun again after all the bullshit you know <laughs> yeah no i totally agree and i mean like have you got many gigs lined up like i know you do have that festival but i mean what about like sort of gigs yeah. Well, we literally just announced it today as of this interview where it's being done. September 4th, we're going to be playing at the Woodtock Festival. We're co-headlining co with P.D. What's his name again? P.D. Pablo, I think. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah P.D. Pablo. So we're co-headlining with P.D. Pablo at Woodtock in Blackstone, Virginia. And we got a bunch of other stuff lined up in the works, possibly some UK stuff, not making any final announcements on that. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. we just got a whole list from our manager about all these different... <laughs> Nothing set in stone yet. I mean, I think it is, but we still have to announce everything. And just uh, hopefully yeah. everything goes as planned. But there's definitely a lot on the agenda. So yeah. I mean, sure, yeah, yeah We're it's, excited. It's, it's gonna be a good year. Bring more rock shows. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure you guys are itching to get back though to like actually playing in front of an audience as well. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially with this social media following now. Like honestly, we, we have maybe, we have maybe on Instagram we have maybe like maybe maybe 2,500 followers when we like before TikTok and everything else. And when we hit like 10K for us, one was like, whoa, you yeah. know, that's, that, that's, that's, that's weird. Crazy. Why, is there, why is there a K in our, uh, yeah. <laughs> sexual number over here? Yeah. Is yeah. that a typo? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, yeah I do. So uh, I'll just, hopefully but, with the next month, maybe. <laughs> but yeah. we're, we're, just, we're just interested to see what the turnout is now with the social media following and everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. By the I mean, way, before, that, oh, sorry, go oh, ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before all of this, I mean, we probably got like a good like thirty people at a show. You know, yeah. I'd say at least thirty. Okay, okay. <laughs> at most we'd hope fifty. Okay, like you know, but now we really have no idea. I mean, like, like I have no idea. I hope it all uh, translates into the uh, real live scene. You know, of social media, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it, with social media? Because you can't really like sort of predict it. But I mean, like, surely if you guys are near a million followers, there's got to be people who are fans who will yeah, actually make yeah, the journey yeah, to come yeah. to see you. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. We're hoping. Exciting. We're hoping at least. Yeah. I'm, I'll be excited to meet a bunch of people that are like, I was that guy that DM'd you and sent the smiley face emoji. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the rock band. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and then you were like, "Yeah," and I didn't reply to you. <laughs> no, uh, we we reply to almost every DM uh, on Instagram, uh, yeah. and that's one of the things we pride ourselves on is like talking to our fans because I feel like a lot of people, uh, especially once you get bigger and bigger on the platform, you'll start to just ignore the DMs or just you know, let them pile up a bunch. But yeah, 
uh, you know, we, we tend to get to them almost every day. We'll, we'll be, go down to zero requests and mm -hmm. start back up again the next day. So, and at least every day we're getting 200 requests, <laughs> right? Yeah, I would say that. yeah, that's a good estimate. Yeah. <laughs> and these yeah. guys, do you have someone who like manages your social media or do you all take turns? We do it, we do it ourselves. Yeah. And like, I was going to add on what Adam said, you know, just because you have a blue check mark in front of your name doesn't mean you alienate your fans also. Yeah. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. That's very no, admirable. For all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, it's kind of like you guys obviously know where like they're coming from as well, don't you? Because like these are only starting up. So like when it, it is kind of, it's horrible when you see people who do do that. Like they, I just said do do, um, people who, who you know, like they, <laughs> they, they become like big, but like they've came from the small upbringing, and then they just like are like, oh, I'm better than you now. Like, and I always, I've always hated that. I'm sure another part of it too is like if they're signed or whatever, you know, their label probably has somebody manage their social media or whatever. So even if they do get a reply, it's probably not them answering you. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. It's also that's not, not that's not what we want. Yeah, to do we always want to we always want to be in touch with our fans. And, you know, just let them know that you know we're appreciative of them and that we want to be what we are today without each and every one of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, by the way, that festival Wood Talk that is so hilarious because obviously it's Woodstock, but to fit the talk in front of it for TikTokers, um, I'm a sucker for dad jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Did you guys, like, whenever you got the request to go on to that festival, was it, like, kind of like, whoa, what the fuck, we're going to be doing a festival next? <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. We were so excited to just have a show on the calendar uh, again, because after having such a long break away, uh, just being able to look forward to a show, we're like, shit, now we have to actually practice again. <laughs> you know, we're, I know. Our band practices have become like, let's make some TikToks, let's go live on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, and all that stuff is acoustic just because uh, having a super loud drum set is just going to wash out every other instrument on the on the stream. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've been kind of stuck in the acoustic mode. So having these shows come back where we can actually start shredding again is just <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's going to be weird, though, getting back up on that stage and being like, wow, so this is what, like, we used to do this all the time. So, like, when we had, uh, like, 2,500 followers or whatever, we used to be go going up on stages, like, we're gonna be, weekend. We're yeah. going to be going up stage. We're going to have my bass in my arms and be like, uh, how do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna up be weird. <laughs> uh, not at all. I, I feel like once we all get into like once you get through that first song we all get in the zone and honestly I, I just close my eyes I wake up from that show coma whatever you want to call it and I'm like wow it's already been like an hour of playing I was like, I'm done. you know that's, yeah. that's how it really is yeah and like have you like sort of like has it sank in though that like you are going to be doing a festival where there's going to probably be like thousands of people like and you said that you've only done like 40 people beforehand that's, that's, a mean, big, that's, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. When you when you put it like that. Now you're scaring me. Now you're scaring me. I feel like it'd be easier to play to a thousand people rather than like ten people. Because I feel like the ten people, you feel like you got all all eyes on you. Whereas mm -hmm. a thousand, it's just like a sea of people. You know, you don't really need yeah. to. Uh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. I don't know. It could go both ways. I could yeah. I could just be talking on my ass because I've never I've never played in front of a thousand people. So. Um, coming yeah. from experience of being on TV yes. with a million people watching. Yeah, true. You know, once you get past a certain point, it's all the same. You know, be it a uh, hundred people, a thousand people, ten thousand. Uh, you know, it, I think it just adds to the energy of the audience, and okay. that's something that we've been anxious to get back. Uh, you know, doing live streams on TikToks, we're just playing to a screen and you don't hear any uh, reactions or applause or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, so to have that energy back from a live audience is gonna be the thing I'm most excited for. Oh yeah. Yeah, I agree. Sure. That was so cool. And I mean, like, I, I don't know if I could control myself because like you said, the energy, like you're just gonna get up and like, you're already gonna be shitting yourself. And then whenever you hear the screams, you're just gonna be like, Oh my god, I can fucking do this. And then you do like a Jack Black move yeah. and you just fucking go crowd surfing and no one catches you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
have you like got any like weird requests from people on like social media oh there's like song requests <laughs> yeah song requests but like even just like weird like video requests as well they have stories i mean maybe a yes, let's go yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we got, tell, we got, tell a story. We got me and Johnny uh, begging for feet pics from us, but you know, I mean, I don't know why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start, like charging people. I mean, like honestly, you know, yeah. instead of I, I, it's, sorry. Oh, you go, you go, yeah. I'm always kind of half joking about it. Like, if we ever want to start a Patreon, we should start an OnlyFans instead. Like one just for yes. the meme, whatever, or be to like actually send feet pics. You know. Everybody uh, wants, you know uh, $600 to $600. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I like your fake. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, fund a, a whole second album with just feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You really only, could. Only rock band in the world to fund an entire album with feet pics. Yo, that can go on like the Guinness World Record or something like that. Oh you know? my I mean, God. Like, yeah. yeah we're definitely. On the- <laughs> we're on it. <laughs> this is really that, that is hilarious. Like, because I could we're just wrong. imagine like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine though the amount of like uh the amount of requests that you, you would get from people. And it, it is very admirable that you guys and humbling as well that you would reply back uh, to oh, so okay. many people because you were obviously in their shoes before. Um I've got a really good request. This is what I fought off in my head. And my friend actually requested it as well. So I'll go with my friends first because I don't think it's as good as mine. But um you should do Black Sabbath, Paranoid. Ooh, that's, that's, great that's great. Why have we not Don't done? We actually, know. we did War Pigs not that long ago, actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seeing that, that was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Paranoid, we should do. I don't yeah, know why we've never done that. That's a good one. That's we, a good one. We actually used to play that song. Yeah. 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 When, yeah. yeah. When Adam it's like my like, go-to like, song if I'm going to the gym. I'm just like, fuck yeah, let's just get in the zone and then you just go straight yeah. forward. Yeah. Um, my request is... You're probably going to laugh at this, but I think it'd be fucking great for like, especially the TikTok videos as well. Danger by Electric Six. What I'm not that? sure if we ever heard of that. Yeah. Oh, you definitely have. Do you know the one? It's like danger, danger, high voltage. When we touch, when we kiss. If you start with this song, I'm going to be really embarrassed, and I'm just going to turn off my computer. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> we probably know. We probably know. We have to listen to it. I'm not good with names. Oh, guys, I'm so embarrassed. Right, she's there. <laughs> no, dude, that was amazing. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yes, do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no listen you need to you need you really do you need to go and search that song because you'll love it you've probably seen it whenever you were younger like it was on it was weird though it was a, a really weird video it was like there was a girl who was singing and she was wearing like this brassiere and her like her like boobs were lighting up and then the guy had there like a light thing around his crotch and it was lighting up too and then they were on top of a horse or a cow and the cow's tits were lighting up. It was so weird. It was the fucked up video ever. <laughs> wow. Now we have to check it out. Now we gotta check it out. Definitely <laughs> check it out. <laughs> um, I mean, I can't really think of much else. That I, oh yes, I was going to ask you this. So, with the Jack Black sort of do it, did he actually reach out to you guys? So we tried to reach out to him on Instagram. He he followed us on Instagram so that we could DM. And he has liked our message a couple of times. He, he likes our posts every so often, but we haven't actually gotten like a response uh, from him. You know, his, uh, his little caption on his video, like time to pass the torch. Like that, <laughs> that was pretty incredible. Uh, and yeah. hopefully one day we'll be able to meet him in real life and maybe jam on stage with him would be awesome. That would be amazing. Uh, open up for Tenacious D. We're always down. Jack, if you're yeah. watching this, hit us up. Look at you! Yeah. Uh, other than that, it's just been a great experience, and ho- it hopefully leaves the door open for a conversation one day. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And have you got any like other sort of um, good feedback from anyone who's like more in the public eye, like any more celebrities? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Dana White, uh, the head of the uh, UFC. He follows us. Yeah, he follows us. He reached out to us, follows us. Um, Yeah, I mean, like, that's amazing. I love it. John Fogarty. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, she yeah. Had her in, what's that girl's name? I know she was like, um, she was popular with the uh, Bell Oh, the TV. Bell Show. Yeah, I forgot Tiffany? her name though. Tiffany Thiessen. I don't know her name. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my parents were like flipping out so i was just like oh yeah, all right from yeah. saved by the bell yeah. she was like yeah yeah she was like oh. the i heartily of back then probably yeah. if i have to uh, oh, was it Ke- kelly slater yeah 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 oh very good that's so yeah, cool looks great also yeah <laughs> yes yes <laughs> um that's amazing dana white got in contact i love ufc I've, i watch it every every time it's on that's amazing he got in contact with you guys yeah, yeah. We'd love to come and play at a, at a, a fight. That would be so sick. Yes. That would be Imagine. amazing. That would be insane. That would be yeah. unreal. Yeah. Yeah. That would be that so cool. Good. Like opening up for someone like Conor <laughs> McGregor or something. Like that would be a class. Yeah, that would be a theme for one of our songs. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Imagine Conor yeah. McGregor walking out. That would be sick. Oh, God. That, that would be dope. Sick. And, uh, <laughs> Just I did have like, just have the go into like one of our songs. <laughs> yeah, like how amazing would that be though? Like, imagine like someone using your energy from your song and they were going in to kill another person. <laughs> I would kind of like that. That's kind of sick. sick yeah. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. That's not us. That's All not right. Us. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, not our fault. it's like that. What's that? Uh, uh, bring the boom or something with uh, when Kevin was, James. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah. James. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely do something like that. That, uh, sick. that movie is like what, all about boxing, is the intro music. He's like, You need good intro music. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that's a good movie. I gotta yeah, watch that. I gotta rewatch that. That's a good movie. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good movie. I haven't seen it in ages as well, and I need to watch it. Um, a lot of like WWE um wrestlers' intro musics are amazing, like theme songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, that'd be cool. Degeneration X was that not? Uh, who who done that for Triple H? Uh, Motorhead. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, that, that's crazy. Like that they done that. Um, actually, speaking of fighting as well, have you got any invitations to fight any YouTubers? Because you're TikTokers. <laughs> Oh, no, not no, yet. That's that, that that's the YouTuber route. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always like it's like TikTok stars going to make music videos like Addison Ray, Bella Porch, all those TikTok stars, they go on to make music videos. And then you have Jake Paul who's like at the twilight of his YouTube career and he's just going into yeah. boxing. That's that, that, yeah. that that's the formula it seems like. Yeah. And KSI yeah. Well, we're gonna stick more in that Charlie D'Amelio and uh yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, no one knows shit if you get into a fight right now, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to ruin that beautiful face. Um, Johnny, uh, we should get you in because you're young, so you would pick up on the skills more for boxing. That would be good. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's Johnny's got that speed uh, That's speed funny bag. that you say that. Uh, I'm pretty good at the speed bag. I don't well, there you I go. Know. Yeah, see? I could tell. <laughs> um, listen, guys, this is amazing. I think I've asked everything that I wanted to, to ask you guys. Um Definitely, whenever you are um, coming over to Europe, I will be sending you loads of emails and uh, I'll be making sure to get on that guest list, A list, uh, whatever. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And, uh, yeah, of course. And I mean, good luck in the uh, good luck with the festival that's going to be coming up in September. You're all going to be shitting it. And I'm glad that I'm not in your position, but it'll be amazing afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I mean, yeah, we got. It. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. You trained our whole lives for this. You know? yeah, I mean, we were, like, we were yeah. born. <laughs> um, just for people who are listening and maybe they don't want to uh, go on the description stuff like that. Um, could you just like sort of plug in where you are, like TikTok, YouTube, blah blah. blah. Yeah. So uh, we're. At AMH Band uh, on TikTok, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, we have our our page AMH. Uh, if you want to look about us up on Spotify, AMH Adam and the Metal Hawks. Uh, we also have a cameo that we just set up. Uh, if you want to get a personalized message from us, uh, maybe you want us to say hi to Grandma or somebody, <laughs> uh, you can check that out on Cameo AMH. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, the, the best way to support us, it's absolutely free. Just share a video you see or like a video, tell your friend about it. 
Uh, all these things are absolutely free and they help us out a, a whole lot, you know, just as much as giving us money. So uh, we really appreciate uh, everything that you guys do.